Hey, what's going on, Vault Hunters? I'm Big Bad Dirty Dog coming to you from the Dog Pound. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I want to take a quick second to wish everyone a happy Memorial Day and give a special shout out to all the servicemen and service women who are either currently serving now or, or who have served or those who have given their lives to make all the sacrifices so that we can enjoy the freedoms in this country. Much love to all of you. With that, we are back here on Borderlands 3 with another episode in my Legendary Farming Guide and Review series where I show you where all the best legendary gear in the game is and give you my honest review on it. So, with further ado, let's get right into it. So, this week we are taking a look at the Malawan Shotgun Mind Killer, which happens to be in the Maurice's Black Market vending machine this week, and I will put a link up in the right hand corner if you want to click on that if you want to check that video out. If you have the disposable income and you just want to go take your chances with the machine and buy it, but if you like me and enjoy farming, this video is for you. Now, the Mind Killer is a Malawan shotgun. It is based in the base game. It does not require charging to fire. Significantly increased damage. Fires penetrating projectiles styled after amplifier bars and disappears after traveling for some distance. Hip fire shoots 9 pellets, 8 in a circle, and 1 in the middle. When zoomed in, the pellets fire in a plus pattern. Unlike generic Malagon, Malawan shotguns, the mine killer fires instantly, allowing for both a higher fire rate and faster reaction times against enemies. While it will never spawn with an element, which is really weird because Malawan is all about the elements, one of the uh, rare weapons that Malawan does not have an element attached to it. Its instant charge time and high damage are potent, allowing it to tear through enemies with sheer force alone. The Mind Killer's fixed projectile patterns make it more accurate than most other shotguns, allowing it to be used for medium range combat, though its pellets disappear after short distance. Now again, the Mind Killer cannot spawn with an elemental capacitor. It uses a similar style of projectile to the Killing Word being a blue-red cluster of amplifier bars. If the trigger is held down to charge a weapon, the Mind Killer produces the same sounds as mouthpiece of speakerphone. Charging a shot does not affect the projectile's behavior in any other way. Now the red flavor text, I must not fear, fear is the mind killer, is a reference to the Litany Against Fear from the 1965 novel Dune by Frank Herbert. And again, the mind killer is one of the few Malawan weapons in this series that do not feature an elemental capacitor. Blah, I'm trying to say that real fast. Now this one here is actually a god roll one, 14,583 times 9, 57% accuracy, 48% handling, and 2.1 second reload time. 1.58 second fire rate, 6 magazine size, 49% damage rate, and 28% weapon charge speed. Now, if you would like to farm one of these, you right here in Ascension Bluff. So make sure you have a good build, because when you spawn in the map, you're going to spawn at one end, and you're going to go all the way to here. You can grab a car here, right at the beginning when you spawn in, and you're going to take the car and come all the way up here, if you remember from back in the beginning of the game. Now when you get up here, unfortunately, you can't take the car in this area, you're going to have to foot it. And again, have a great build, because I fought a lot of annoyments and a lot of badasses on my way here. Go all the way through here, all the way through here, all the way around, all the way around to get to a mouthpiece right here. Yeah, you can tell when you hold the trigger down. kind of what the weapon looks like. It does look pretty cool. I'll give it that. I, I, do, I do like the black. Very nice. But I am using a Rocketeer that has 35% weapon damage, 36% mana one weapon reload speed, and 14% mana one weapon damage. Now I don't have any artifacts that give shotgun damage. I can't use that, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the effable knowledge. Quick look at my skill tree. I'm pretty much in the Demolition Woman. And the Bottomless Mag Tree. I am on, there's my Guardian Rank right now. 
I am on Mayhem 11 because I don't really like modifiers. Let's do a little save quit here. And we're going to use this weapon against uh, Malfi himself. Again, it's a 20% drop rate. But I got this on the first drop. I was pretty impressed with myself. That normally doesn't happen for me, so... And again, I'm on Xbox One. So I'm not like the people that are on PC that use a save better and give themselves the best gear. This is all hours and hours and hours of farming to get the gear that I have. And that's why the loading times are terrible and hopefully when the new Borderlands game drops this fall, as I expect that it will, hopefully the loading times will be a little bit quicker. But I noticed when I played uh, Tiny Tina's game, the loading times weren't that bad, so hopefully that issue will be uh, fixed when the new one drops. I'm really interested to, in trying this shotgun out. To be honest, I've been playing this game since it came out. I didn't even know Malawan made shotguns. You know, because I have a Malawan SMG in my hand that I always use at the plasma coil. So interesting to see them using a shotgun that's not have an element attached to it. Because we all know the Hellwalker is the best shotgun in the game. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's where you gotta spawn in at. Now he does have phases. Wow, this is really bad. <laughs> it really doesn't do any damage to the boss. Uh, it does well against these little dudes. You can get a critical on the head doesn't really do much of anything. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like this or not. It barely does anything. You know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna switch to my other mail one. Now see, up close against these little dudes. Where'd that little dude go? <laughs> uh, I thought there's another guy, maybe not. But anyway. I see there another one dropped, so <laughs> and this is only my second run, so I'm in the Siri Nemesis. To be honest, I don't like this shotgun. I think I'm gonna go sell it. Not a big fan of it. I mean it was fine against like those little enemies, but against I don't know. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna give this a one. This is probably like one of the worst shotguns in the game. I can see why uh, nobody uses it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? After seeing it in action, is this something you would use? Has anyone else used it? I mean, it seems like it's great for mobbing, good for uh, close combat, but I don't know. I don't really like it. I'm gonna go sell this gun. Maybe if it had elements attached to it, maybe it would be better. Not really impressed with it, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments where would you rate this on a scale of 1 to 10? Is this something you'd be interested in, in using? I want to know. So, with that, again, thanks to everyone who takes the time to watch, comment, like, and share my videos. It means the world to me. Much love to all your beautiful faces. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share the video as it helps me out tons. So, until next time, stay awesome, stay amazing, stay wonderful, stay fantastic. And stay beautiful, my friends.